hey what is going on guys welcome back to the channel hey 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 howdy hey what's going on as always it is javi checking in we are live back here in microsoft flight simulator 2020 happy sunday everyone everybody's weekend is going well there's a bunch of people on today you guys had a good weekend and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Uh, we are on our third leg, uh, third and final leg of this week uh, here in Canada for some World Update 11 ops and flying to and from some airports, different cities that were updated uh, in the most recent uh, World Update Canada edition so super excited for this uh, third and final leg for this week and I have a feeling we'll be back to fly more in Canada very soon um, so yeah finishing off Canada week world update 11 a week uh, so super excited to be flying back in the sim today uh, with you guys um, today we are at the ramp here at Deer Lake in Newfoundland, uh, Canada, to Far East Canada. We're going to be flying west to uh, Montreal today. Um, we're going to be flying to the St. Hubert, I believe is the name of it. Um, yeah, St. Hubert in Montreal, Quebec. Uh, so this one's just south of the International Airport in Montreal. So that's the plan for today. We got Two hours, eleven minutes in the air. Twenty-three passengers, nineteen hundred pounds of cargo. So that is the plan. Uh, I don't think weather will be a factor uh, today, so it should be a nice, nice route. Might be some clouds, but other than that, I think the weather should be cooperating today. Uh, so that is the plan for today. Super excited uh, to finish off. World Update 11, Canada Week, uh, and I feel like there's so much more left to fly in Canada that we haven't even got to, uh, so I have a feeling we'll be back to Canada very shortly, uh, so thank you all for tuning in and hanging out with us today, appreciate you all for watching and happy to have you for today's stream and chat, um, and if you are new to the channel or watching live, please say hello in chat, uh, always love hearing from new folks. So that is that. There's our song queuing off. Beautiful. Um, if you guys enjoy today's stream and want to show your support to the channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. Would greatly appreciate it. It is a huge, huge help to the channel. Um, and I always enjoy sharing my flight sim experience with you guys and have you on board flying with us. Um, and I do live stream weekly and exclusively here on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. So if you do hit the notification bell, uh, you will not miss a new upload or live stream. Uh, you'll be notified for everything that goes up on the channel and all that good stuff. So, let's kind of back our camera away here, get more of an aerial view. So we are here on the ramp. Uh, I guess this is the FBO. Um, and just in front of us is the, the terminal side here at uh, Deer Lake. And Deer Lake was actually a airport that was updated from Microsoft, but I mean, it doesn't look like much of an update. They maybe did these couple buildings, but that's about it. But we'll go over uh, some more updates when we get up to cruise today and kind of see, kind of go over everything that was updated uh, for World Update 11 in Canada and go over all that stuff at cruise. Let's get some battery going, bring the bird to life here. And let's get in the air. All right, batteries on. Let's get our F1 fuel pump on for APU start. Boom, APU starting. We'll go outside. Let's do our fire up.
APU gins are good to go. Let's go gen one and gen two. And we'll go APU bleed can come on. Cool. Let there be a light in here. Oh yeah, I just realized where is our progress bar? It's where this app just like closes itself now for whatever reason. <sighs> so annoying. Is it gonna load? No. Yeah, it's not even working. CYDF to CYHU. 5G Alpha. <sighs> Let's see. Yeah, I literally had this running. Ah, so annoying when this does this. Uh, it doesn't make it work. Delete you. Oh, man. Come on. Can you just work? All right. Screw it. Uh, we'll worry about it later. Uh, we will be on the Fat Sim network today as well. Uh, probably should be more calm over here in eastern Canada, which is kind of nice. Uh, so we'll probably just be on uh, Unicom for today, unless somebody signs on. Uh, filed our flight plan on that sim network, so we should be good there. So let's go down. Uh, let's go to Unicom 22.8. Squawk in 2000. Boom. And let's go back up top. Pack's going. Full airflow in here, both hydraulics. Pumps can go on, logo wheel well lights on, emergency exits, beef belts can go auto, and IRS left and right set to nav, and they are aligning beautifully. Check our throttles on two, and our oxygen. Cool. Uh, we'll hit B. Reset our altimeter, 29.79. And let's call up the crew, shall we? Ground services. Let's go fuel, maintenance, pot of water. We're going to need 16.8 today. Beautiful. So we'll let the ground crew pull up. this look today. There's our man maintenance in the house. Sweet. It's like Little guys attaching. Cool. He's probably ready. Yep. Let's go start fueling. It's going to take a while. Need 16.8. And what else do we need? Don't think we need to call for clearance. <coughs> Let's go fly now and send toolkit pro. Connect to Microsoft, Fight Sim. And yeah, it's pretty quiet over here. In Newfoundland. Um, let's see, what else do we need? Navigraph. It's our taxi charts. Mark our spot. We're on the FBO ramp. Got 8,000 foot runway today. It's nice and decent size. Um, what else? Let's see. <clears throat> Let's start prepping our routes. Let's go FPV on, traffic on, data on. 
center button twice and traffic button once. Cool. Let's go back down here. Let's go menu, FMC, position. We are at C, Y, D, F. Let's go next page. Copy our left GPS and paste. Beautiful. And let's go depart arriving. Let's see. Departing today. Okay. Why is it not working? Uh. We did our position. Oh, here we go. That's what I forgot. Uh, we're going to CY. H-U for St. Hubert in Montreal. Now we can go depart arriving. We're departing. Runway. Depending on the winds. Let's see. Mitar for Deer Lake. Uh, winds are 230. So we'll do runway 25. Depart arriving. Arriving into... Montreal, winds are 270 at 14, gusts of 21, so really pretty windy there. So from the west, so we'll plan for 24 right, ILS 24 right via the mare transition. Beautiful, let's change it on here as well. No, I don't want to clear the route. Change ILS 24 right via mare. Boom, bada boom. No SID, no star uh, for the route today. Pretty easy route. Just a lot of direct uh, waypoints. All right, so that looks good. Let's go route, next page, and then we'll get our all our direct twos in here. So we're direct to YDF first, YDF. And then we are direct to YGP. Y G P um, and then we are direct to I G Oops I G T E R Itker Yep and then we're direct to Misop my S O P and then we're direct to up cam or up bam UK Pam then to taken T A K I N next page direct and then direct to mare we'll move you up activate execute legs page and we'll go progress page on the second page here and let us, what is this purple line? Check our route real quick. Let's go plan. <coughs> uh, wait, what? That's weird. Maybe we'll just go direct to YGP. Yeah, that's. Let's do that. Execute. It's a whole lot of turn, unnecessary turns. And then we're just straight southwest from here, right into the approach. It looks like beautiful, straight in approach, nice and easy. Go back to map. That all looks good. And then, yeah, we're just direct to YGP. Yeah. Makes more sense. Cool beans. All right. Route's good. Let's go in at ref button. Cost index today is 73. Super high. Uh, we're going to do reserves. They're going to be 4.5. Zero fuel weight, 
2.9, and we're going to cruise at 380 today, 38,000 feet. Um, we got 8,000 feet of runway. Let's not derate today. We'll just go 27k takeoff, flaps five, CG 24.2, V speed's good to go. And trim can be about three and a half. That's good there. And set our cruise speed. Oh wow, it's already 20 beautiful. And then we're descending 322 knots. That's fine, I guess. And then we want 250 knots under 10,000 feet. Cool. All right, that all looks good. Let's go up top. Let's go yaw damper and window heats can go on. The rest of our fuel pumps on. Engine start, cross feed check, right. And dim, cool beans. And let's go back down. Let's get our RTO set. How are we doing on fuel? Still fueling? No, he's done, so we'll release him and we can reset the fuel flow. Boom, ba -doom, boom, boom, boom. Let's go up top. Takeoff speed is set to 138. Runway heading is going to be 246. Boom. And we can just set our cruise today no sit or anything like that so we'll just set it to three eight thousand sweet and we'll set it up top too three eight zero boom and our landing elevation is going to be 87 so we'll just do 100 Beautiful. And let's call up the passengers. Let's bring them in. Let's go menu. Office actions. Packs SUVs. Oh. Slow down, camera. And we'll get rid of the audible water guy. I'm sure he's done. Thank you for your service, Holmes. Cool. Packs are here. Let's go. About 23 passengers today. Let's get them on board. And their bags. Let's see. Yeah, we got 1,900 pounds of cargo. Let's do 950 in the front, 950 in the back. Start, get everything loaded on board. <coughs> and then we will be on our way. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Cool beans, cool beans. We've got one departure and one arrival out of here, so we are the only departure. So pretty chill over here. And Deer Lake. And beautiful Newfoundland, Canada. So we'll get the passengers on board, and we'll start her up and get out of here. <clears throat> Sweet. Maybe I can try to fix the progress bar that's just completely has a mind of its own anymore. <sighs> so annoying. Wait. 
Let's try this again. Remove you. Without. Restarting OBS. It's the most annoying part. Actually, what's the resolution? 2560 by 1440. Let's see if this works. 2560, 240. I don't understand why it just always <laughs> just does its own thing. Uh, let's see. I. How do I auto crop? I think it's alt. Something like that. And then let's move you to somewhere in Z middle. Wait. Transform, center, vertically. Oops. Did not want that. Yeah, it's just as long as it covers up the good old make sure she's centered one more time horizontally. Cool. CYDF to CYHU. Cool beans. There we go. I don't understand why this thing won't. It just closes itself for whatever reason anymore. All right, cool. Sweet. Packs are on board. Got all the bags on board. Let's get rid of the crew here. Let's go. Chalks can go. Maintenance can go. Later, guys. Let's get the air stairs retracted. Doors closed. <clears throat> Now let's go. Let's go to Montreal, shall we? Let's get this back a little bit. The engine starts, not too loud. Let's jump back in the bird here. All right, need beacon going. Beacon's on, pack's gotta go off. Engine start, we'll set the right igniter. And we'll set number two to ground. And we'll spool her up. Spooling, spooling. In two's rolling, oil pressure rolling, and one slowly rolling. Intro the fuel at 25%. There's 25. Let's listen to where we're started. Sweet. Engine number two is good to go. Set number one to ground. Same deal. Intro the fuel at 25% and two. All pressures rolling. And one rolling. 23. And five. There we go.
Cool. Number two is good. Let's go back up top. Let's get Gen 1 and 2 on. If you can go off. Start switches set to continuous both sides. Probes both on. Packs both back to auto. Iso valve go auto as well. AP lead off. Set our Gen 1 up top. And let's go flaps 5 for takeoff. Oh, Jesus. Flaps 5 are set. Let's go engine system buttons. And let's flight control check up, down, left, right, right rudder, go left rudder. Beautiful. And let's get our TARA on. I just like to turn it on early. Beautiful. Altimeter is set 2978. Uh, flight directors on auto throttle on. Uh, let's see, we'll get our terrain. Uh oh, we got another brake dancer over here. Doing donuts in the GA bird. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Can I turn the terrain on yet? No, we'll do terrain. We've got some hills in the area. Uh, let's go VNAV for takeoff. And we'll arm LNAV wheels up. Let's get the taxi lights on. And parking brake off. Let's reset this for later. Alright, we're ready to rock and roll. Let's see. Runway, was it 24? 25. So we'll taxi Bravo and then back taxi. Cool. And I don't think not really any traffic that close to us, so should be nice, easy departure. Cool. So we'll make a UE here and go back to Bravo. Let's do it. Spool them up. I have to try to avoid our Marshaller here. Cute. Nice. Very skinny taxiways. Let's do it. All right, so this is Bravo here. Yeah, rolling onto the runway, back taxi. So let's go. Strobes, landing lights, all good to go. There's only one depart, one arrival into Deer Lake, so. They are not in the area yet, so we are good to go. <clears throat> so let's back taxi here. Two five. Sweet. I need to try that multi-monitor support so we could try to do some kind of takeoff camera views for you guys. I'll have to look into that. I know that was a big uh, part of the big update, Sim Update 10. 
is the multi monitor support but I don't know if that's more so for the actual pilot than it is for the viewers so we'll turn around here got 8,000 feet of runway so plenty of runway today Get her on the center line. Sweet. Let's hit the clock. We will pull them up to 40. Get them stable. Let's go to Montreal, shall we? Let's start rolling. There's 40%. We'll hit toga. And throttles are set. Airspeed alive. Check. Double check. We're rolling. V1. So rotate. Nice and easy. Positive rate climb. Wheels up. Let's double tap on the brakes. We are out of Deer Lake. See you. Right down the river. Nice. Let's arm LNAV. Start a right turn here. Nice departure. Climb power is slowly coming in. There it is. Let's go flaps one. Looking good. Five thousand feet. Let's go flaps up clean. Let's go command A. A little early. We are Audi. That is Grand Lake. No, that's Deer Lake off to our left. Hence the airport name. Deer Lake. Sweet. I'm gonna go over the water here pretty soon. Let's jump back up front for a minute. Uh, let's zoom out our range, about 40. And let's go after takeoff checklist. Let's go. Uh, gear lever can go off. RTO off. We're about 10,000 feet. Let's go standard. And lights can go off. And start switches off. Cool beans. 11,000 feet. We are cruising. Nice departure out of here. Hey, brownies, what's going on? Up and away, indeed. Thanks for hopping in the stream and chat, brownies. Happy Sunday. Sunday fun day. Thanks for joining. Good to see you, as always. Hope you're having a good weekend. We are closing out Canada week here this week. Today's flight from uh, Deer Lake, Newf Newfoundland. Uh, 
Far East Canada. Flying down to uh, Montreal. A little bit longer uh, trip today, too. Uh, probably be about two hours air time. So we're just going southwest into Montreal. We'll go over Quebec City where we flew on Tuesday. And should be a nice approach into city center. Into Montreal. So that's the plan. That is the plan. Sweet. Yeah, I wanted to get some of these coastal views in before we head out of Newfoundland. Going through the clouds. It's pretty sweet shots. Looks like we're looking out the window. Nice. Yeah, we're right on the right on the edge here of the Vinland kind of island here. East Canada. Yeah, so this airport was one of the five uh, that Microsoft updated for World Update 11 Canada, but they didn't do much with it. So I don't know if they just did generic buildings or, or what they actually did to it, but not much of an update to that airport specifically, but was one of the five <clears throat> that were updated and once we get up to cruise we'll go over all that good stuff kind of wrap up a bunch of the uh, world update 11 notes and updates and all that good stuff yes indeedy let's jump over to the left side Cool. 60 miles till our top of climb. Other than that, we are on our way. Yeah, while we climb here, I can kind of go over next week's schedule. Let me pull it up, actually, before I forget what's going on. Yeah, I think next week should be normal schedule. Uh, we'll be streaming Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday next week. Tuesday and Thursday will be 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and then Sunday... Uh, will be 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, and we will be rocking the Amazon Prime theme this week coming up. Some more cargo ops. Uh, since Amazon is having another Prime Day, apparently. Uh, October 11th and 12th this coming week. So I figured why not have another theme week for some Amazon Prime cargo ops. I'm thinking it's going to be more West Coast routes. Because last time we did East Coast Amazon Prime theme uh, for the last Prime week or Prime day. 
Uh, so that'll be the plan next week. We'll be flying some Amazon cargo ops. It's been a while since we did that last, so why not? So that is the plan for next week. We will be delivering two-day air, two-day prime deliveries. We will be delivering some packages this coming week, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. That is the plan. Bum, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, bum. <coughs> All things Amazon. All right, looks like some looks like a center is online now. But I think we're going to fly out of it shortly, so... I don't know if he's going to make us call him or not. I guess we'll see. He, like, literally just signed on, so... Here's us. We just took off from Deer Lake. But I think we're going to fly out of his zone probably and we're going down into uh, Montreal St. Hubert so I don't really know if we're going to be in his airspace for much longer at all we shall see beans. Let's jump back up front real quick. Let's get our visors up here. Why not? Get the FOs. Oh, he is going to make us call him. All right. 32.2 32 32.2 32 32 Oops Right, 132, yes Alright, cool Alright, let's uh, my pad here in case we need a Scribble something. It's a little loud. Sorry, guys. Uh, let's turn you down. Turn it down, turn it down. Alright. What center is he? Moncton? Four from 
Hi, Locked in center, good afternoon, November 5, Drew at Alpha, climbing through 335,000.7 for 38,000. November 5, Drew at Alpha, enter, good afternoon, 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 Three one four three. I didn't. Cool. All right. So we got some center on. Maintain three eight zero five twelve. Cool. I always forget about the jump seat view. This is like one of the best views. Sweet. Alrighty. Coming up on top of cruise. Sweet. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, let me get some music going here. Shall we? Uh, let's see. What should we start with? Uh, we'll start with this old soul jam here bum 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 ah i knew it was going to change views on me for now. These two, I thought there were two different centers online. Apparently, not just this one. Yeah, so we're gonna go through. It's like Maine a little bit, and then into Quebec and Montreal. Okay, so yeah, we'll be in his center for longer than I thought. Alright, it's all good. Vatastic shows his center range is like way smaller than this. Like, shows it like this big, not this whole thing. Hmm. Don't know. Not sure which one's right. All good. Bum, 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 bum. Sweet. Um, da -da. If you guys are enjoying today's uh, stream and want to show your support to the channel, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Uh, would mean the world to me and is a huge help to the channel. 
and always, always appreciate the support and having you guys stop in and fly with us, hang with us, all that good stuff. So your support is always, always appreciated. Um, we do have lots of great streams and trips ahead. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we'll be flying Amazon Prime Cargo Ops uh, this coming week. Uh, so that is the plan for next week. So hope to see you guys there. Oops, so I'm going to get you out of here. Cool. Boom, boom. Yes, indeedy. And I do live stream weekly and exclusively here on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So if you guys hit the notification bell, uh, you'll be notified for all the future streams and videos um, and everything that gets posted on the channel. Uh, and our weekly uh, stream schedules Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Uh, so looking forward to you all stopping by, joining, hanging out with us. And as always, please say hello in chat. Always love hearing from you folks. Uh, or just folks stopping by the channel. Yes, yes, indeedy. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I don't think very much traffic is around us. Uh, looks like it's got to reload. We took off from Deer Lake Airport in Foundland. Far East Canada Island over here. We're actually over water right now, but kind of hard to tell. It's all, all clouds. Can't see the water. Hopefully we'll get a break in the clouds eventually. There we go. Yeah, there's not much traffic out here, so it's pretty chill. Doesn't look like much traffic in Montreal. Where we are headed. Technically over the water. So many clouds. In. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's go over our freeware for today. Light Sim TO. There used to be a um, scenery for Deer Lake where we just took off from, but it is no longer downloadable. Uh, so we just rocked the default uh, airport where we took off today at Deer Lake Airport in Foundland. Um, and this is where we are headed, CYHU, St. Hubert Airport, 
in Montreal. So this uh, scenery is courtesy of Elga Lapino on flightsim.to. Shout out to that developer. It's annoying. Ads. Yeah, so annoying. So this is where we are headed today. I think this is the FBO. Yeah, this is where we park in the Lux. L-U-X FBO. Yeah, here's another shot of it. Pretty sweet. Some nice detail, night lighting. Really cool. So yeah, this is where we'll be parking today. Tower. Some more firehouse. Wonder if this is part of the terminal or just a maybe a restaurant or some kind of building. There's a cafe in there, yeah. Probably a lot of GA flyers here. So a nice little airport, lots of little details, chrono, hangar, looks like maybe another FBO, it's pretty sweet, lots of ground clutter detail, Built the hangars look really good, this looks nice. Not sure what that says. Car Carg Air? Like Cargo Air? Carg Air, yeah. Another nice detailed hangar building. I think we're back at the top tower here. But yeah, we'll be we'll be parking here at the Lux FBO. Did a pretty sweet job on this. Looks really good. Because let's see, LXFBO Montreal. Let's see some images. Yeah, so this is where, where we'll be parking. Looks like there's a BBJ in this picture. Nice. Pretty sweet building nice nice FBO so yeah that's where we'll be parking today and flying into St. Hubert Airport in Montreal so that is our freeware for today switch up the camera view let's go now oh, here we go now we can kind of see the water the ocean out here all right over the ocean far east coast Cruising pretty much straight southwest into Montreal. Sweet. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let's go sit up in the cabin here super fast oops scoot us back a little bit and then this is kind of the full-on world update 11 map kind of got everything uh, mapped out here and uh, world update 11 and all the other updates uh, so this is actually where we took off from Deer Lake 
CYDF, it's the airport code, regional, uh, small regional airport out here in Finland uh, Island, I guess you could call it. Canada, East Canada, Northeast Canada. And then all these red cameras are essentially points of POIs, points of interest that were added in World Update 11. Lots of stuff on this island here. Science Center, what else was out here? St. John's tower lighthouse so just on this little island there's a bunch better click on this one the national historic site and then a bunch of stuff you can kind of go on and on with all the POIs that were added I guess we can start with the airports so that was one of the airports so there were five. So we got one here. That's Deer Lake. And I want to say the second one is here. Yep. I can't even pronounce this. I call it. International Airport. This was number two. And then the other three were out on the western side of Canada. One being the West Kootenay Regional in Castlegar, Canada, British Columbia. And then Bella Coola Airport, CYBD. And then fifth and last one is Dawson City, CYDA, up in northwestern uh, Canada. Klondike National Historic Site. That we saw in the World Update 11 YouTube video highlight. The big ship that's like off the coast or it's like sitting on land <sighs> yeah and like all these red cameras in Canada all they kind of go all over all over kind of go through some of them bridge historic site Federation Bridge Another historic site, lighthouse, lots of lighthouses, <laughs> lots of historic sites, lots of bridges, more lighthouses, more lighthouses, <laughs> world's largest axe, and then you got a couple things in Quebec City. Back Bridge, Notre Dame, and then Montreal, where we're flying into today. Our airport. Where is our airport? Uh -uh. Do, 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 do. Saint Hubert. Where you at? Uh, I forget where it's at. Oh, here it is. Saint Hubert. So, these are all the, I'm assuming this is a bridge, yep. Habitat, Environment Museum, another bridge, oh, the Olympic Stadium is there, nice, I was wondering where that was, Biodome, so lots of stuff kind of all right there in the city center and we'll be coming in so the airport's here we'll be coming in from the northwest straight in so these might be a little tough to see but hopefully we can see them in the off in the distance hopefully <clears throat> so 
so yeah. We got Ottawa over here, Parliament of Canada, Thousand Islands Bridge, so much stuff. More historic sites like Toronto area, Barrie, Ontario, all kinds of stuff. Peace Bridge, Buffalo, New York. practically Canada, more lighthouses, hotel, water resort, oh the Skyline Tower, Niagara Falls area, cool beans, Get some more those cool looking buildings in Toronto, all kinds of stuff. Observatory. I think there's some more stuff up here. Super stack. I'm trying to click on the other thing. Big nickel. Alright. Ambassador Bridge. So much stuff. And then there's some stuff way up here. Cathedral, I think that's by the airport. Yeah. So you kind of got two things right next to each other. Got an airport that was updated and a cathedral nearby across the way. Then you got some way up here Arctic stuff. The Arctic Research Station. Lots of stuff. Got the diamond mines. Another Lots of bridges. Went over that one already. Got some stuff in Winnipeg over here. Park. Bridge. It's like a Canada sign. Legislature building. First Nations University of Canada. Pretty cool looking building. Bridge. Edmonton, Rogers Place, and the Commonwealth Stadium, I think it's what it's called. Yeah. We flew from Edmonton on Tuesday. If you guys want to check that out, it's on the channel. We went Edmonton to Vancouver. Lots of stuff. Fairmont Hotel, another Fairmont Hotel. Skywalk, all kinds of stuff. Air tram. Parks, Sky Bridge, lots of stuff in Vancouver, a couple bridges, playground of the gods, more bridges, all bridges, conservatory, all that good stuff. Some more down stuff down here in Victoria. Historic site, lighthouses, legislative assembly, castle. All kinds of stuff. I think that's about it. Yeah, I think this is the furthest thing north, the research station. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. Canada update. World update 11, Canada. Canada is massive, to say the least. So five airports and tons of points of interest all across Canada. So yeah, that is that. We're back over land almost, almost. stay down here for a little bit. Da -da 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 -bum.
356 miles until our top of drop, so we are chilling, guys. Yeah, I wonder why it doesn't show on I'm curious why the Yeah, it doesn't even say we're in his Where's the other sim map? Okay. that I have the V pilot audio all the way down. Okay, so yeah, it is showing that his area is way bigger than than Sim Toolkit Pro ish or Batastic is showing. Interesting. Relaxing view, brownies? Yes, I would agree. It's almost like a... Like a moving, like a computer background. Like a screensaver. <laughs> that moves slowly. Thinking now would probably be a good time uh, to take a quick restroom break. I've been chugging water. Yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick, guys. I'm gonna take a quick uh, restroom break. Uh, and I'll be right back. Doesn't look like anybody's really in our area. Uh, Moncton Center, November 5, Jodam. Uh, I'm just requesting to step away for just a quick minute, about 60 seconds. We'll cut 5, Jodam. All right, I will be right back, guys. Just gonna do we'll have a quick restroom break, and I'll be back.
All right, we are back. We are back. We are back. And Moncton Center, and I'm in five to wrap it back in the light deck. Cool. All right, where we at? Probably about almost, almost halfway there. Looks like we are over land now. Where's Maine at? Is this made? Uh, I don't know. It's not showing the states. It's showing the cities. Cool. Uh, let's see. Let's just peek at our arrival. Straight in approach. Super easy. Beans. We'll pin our chart for later. And let's just lock our position for now. Not much traffic between where we're at now and Montreal. Frozen. 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 PMDG put out a post on their forum, kind of like an update, I guess you could call it, pending updates. I read through these this morning, uh, so I can kind of breeze through it kind of quickly. Let's see. They're anticipating a new update in a few days, so probably this week, potentially, um, for greater stability around the thrust operating auto throttle. And it looks like continued uh, development on the flight tablet. And it will be included on all of the products 737, 47, 777. So, still waiting on the good old tablet. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's nice. It's going to be on all, all of their um, Microsoft birds um, and it'll have performance computations analysis weight and balance features as well as be able to connect to sim brief and navigraphs functionality uh, so that'll be that'll be good um, what else uh, Looks like they have some Xbox updates. So if anybody's Xbox users, definitely check out the forum. 
to see what the progress is on PMGG on Xbox. Uh, the PMGG 777 project says it's humming right along. Uh, looks like greater progress than expected. Um, what else? Flight deck model is spectacular. And since we used a well loved flight deck as the basis for our builds, it has more of wear and maintenance abuse. Expect to see an in service airplane. Yeah, and this was interesting. The 737 that they used for Microsoft is a like a brand new, not yet airplane. The 777 is going to be an average age. Uh, used like in use 777 and then the 737 is going to be a workhorse that's been <laughs> seen better days beat to death um, serving as the basis for those products so 737 is going to be a, a brand new model like a brand new airplane 777 is going to be like average aged and then the 747 is going to be a really beat up uh, old bird, which is pretty cool. I like three variations. Um, so yeah. Then this looks like a this looks like a real world picture. Pretty pictures, those are like the read. So here's one of a tablet in use on an actual flight. Is this the sim though? Oh, and I think uh, he did mention too that the uh, PFDG team did take like some well needed uh, summer breaks for the, the team members. Um, so I said most of the team is back now except for one so I think that's why it's kind of been quiet on the BMDG side so it's nice that their team was able to get a much needed break um, as you know they've been putting a few years of work into all the Microsoft new birds in addition so I think we'll be hearing from uh, Rob a little bit more he mentioned it down here we'll be hearing from me more regularly now so hopefully I thought he mentioned something about November said November ish somewhere Where was it? Where was it? <sighs> he meant something. Was it the 737-900? Yeah. Best guess for the release is currently mid-November-ish. But could be longer. I'm... He said he, um, he said he's being intentionally vague because there are a number of factors at play, some of which have to do with the max. So that's causing us to slow this one a bit on the approach. So that's interesting. So it sounds like they're already doing some stuff for the max. So 37 max. So. Sweet. So we should should hear some more updates here coming soon. The 737-900 may be released in November. So cool beans. Hopefully we'll see a. 737 update here soon. Maybe some new features. Yep. 
Yes. Uh, if you guys are just joining or stopping by, thank you, thank you, everyone, for stopping by. Say hello in chat. If you are new to the channel or stopping by for the first time, I always love your, your folks. And if you're enjoying today's stream, you want to show your support to the channel, uh, please hit the like and subscribe button. I uh, would greatly appreciate it. It is a huge, huge help to the channel. Sharing my flight sim experience with you all is my favorite part of it all. So. Absolutely. Let's jump back up front real quick. We're still doing point Mach 0.81. So we are full steam ahead. Let's get our airport button on. Uh, what else? We got 230 miles to the top of the drop. So we are chilling. Let's go outside for a minute. Hopefully, this isn't too loud. Slow down, camera. We are rocking the... I think it's November 1, Tango Sierra livery today. Yes, number one, Tango Sierra, the private EBJ variant that was included with the PMDG. Still one of my favorite. Love the white and gray look. Yes, indeedy. have changed at all yeah see I don't know if sim toolkit pro I don't know if the METAR ever refreshes or if I have to click something to refresh the METAR that I don't know Yeah, because Vatastic is saying the winds are 300, 300 at 11, gusting 17 now. Two niner, niner, niner on the altimeter. So, I don't know how often it refreshes. Do not know. Definitely windy. Let's come back inside here. Pum, 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 pum. <clears throat> so yeah, we'll be back Tuesday. 
uh, next week uh, our schedule next week will be our regular schedule uh, Tuesday Thursday Sunday uh, we'll be flying the Amazon Prime Air cargo ops this coming week since there is a another Prime Day uh, coming up on the 11th and 12th of October which is uh, Tuesday and third Tuesday and Wednesday this week so I was like well why don't we why don't we fly some prime air this week deliver some packages so that'll be the plan stuff to figure out our routes uh, but I'm trying to lean for lean more for the west coast of the United States last time we flew prime prime air it was uh, more east coast uh, routes so I want to try to mix it up sit inside BBJ here just walk through the cabin I wish there was an easier way to hang in the cabin here or move about the cabin it's pretty sweet though super glad they did make a BBJ variant yeah looks like there's not that many business jets just yet but there will be plenty to come. I know the Citation Mustang was just released, which was nice. Nice small biz jet. Single pilot. Always love single pilot birds too. We are hanging out. Whoa, <laughs> what just happened? How do I turn around? Yeah, the cockpit camera is kind of weird. Oh, I can't turn. Yeah, it's like you can't turn all one way for whatever reason. Whoops, stay inside here. Whoops, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. up front here. Cool. Oh, looks like we're about to leave the, uh, what was it, Mon, Montank, Montac? Can't s click on this, the center. Looks like we're about to leave his airspace pretty soon. Wow, Midwest is popping today. Salt Lake City Center, Denver Center, Kansas City Center. Is that Fort Worth? Dallas Center, Houston Center, Indy Center. A lot of coverage today. Cool. Cool beans. We are far east Canada, here in Canada. Making our way 
into Montreal, St. Hubert Airport. I believe the Lux FBO is over here. I think maybe these two buildings. So we'll land 2-4, probably just taxi Echo straight in. We got 7,800 feet, plenty of runway. It's like the tower's right in the middle of the airport. Nice. So that'll be our plan for the arrival, ILS 2A right. Yeah, Montreal, Quebec, St. Hubert Airport. SYHU. So that is our arrival plan. Sweet. Bum, 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 bum. I was looking up, uh, I can actually, why don't we pull it up? Let's go outside for a minute. There's a bunch of different uh, maps for the Amazon's routes. This is what I was looking at. So this is what I was looking at. And I figured we could do some some West Coast since we did last time we were out East Coast. The only thing with the West Coast is these are all pretty spread out. <clears throat> bum, 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 bum. So somewhere out on the West Coast, the freeware scenery of Phoenix I actually just got an update on flightsim.to so interested to see what that update looks like haven't flown into Ontario uh, in Southern Cal so still have yet to fly into there I think SBD is San Bernardino haven't flown into there either, but I don't think there's a scenery for that. ST, SKT, I think, is Stockton. I don't think there's a scenery for that either. Um, SFO, that would be, that's always a awesome uh, airport to fly in and out of. So, I'm still trying to figure out what where we should fly for this week on the west coast for some Amazon Prime Air Ops. Some of these are too close to fly to and from, some of them are too far, so we'll see. So yeah, we'll see. Go ahead, provide it up. Uh, over to Unicom, five to it up. Thanks so much for the coverage. We'll see you next time. Cool. So we can go. Yeah, we're leaving his airspace now. And we'll just leave our 
squat code. Can I leave the terrain radar on? Yeah, we can turn that off. Cool. Alright, we are over to Unicom. No other coverage as of yet. So, cool. Let's go down the old belly cam. Sweet. Yeah, a lot of these routes too are so far. Like these. No, I want the map. <laughs> like Seattle to, I think this is Bradley. So far. Phoenix. Or no, it looks like Ontario to Miami or Tampa. Dallas to Seattle. Portland to Phoenix. Some long routes. Cincinnati all the way to Seattle. So far. Miami, Baltimore. So we might just have to do some longer routes this week. If we want to fly on the west coast, fly some Amazon. We shall see. And yeah, the, the uh, stream schedule goes out every Monday. Uh, so that'll be posted on the channel. Uh, all three streams will be posted, uh, scheduled over tomorrow by the end of the day. Uh, for Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday this week. Flying the old Amazon Air. So all the blue dots are fulfillment centers. And then the red dots are pretty much the airports we fly to from. So we will see. what the schedule will be. I'll get it up tomorrow. Oops. Got about 120 miles until our top of drop. left uh, center so we are on Unicom on VATSIM so kind of do our approach at our leisure ETE is about 26 minutes till we get there Seems kind of short. Seems like it should be should be longer. Boom, 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 boom. So yeah, fingers crossed, guys. We might get a might get a uh, PMDG 737 update this week. So we will patiently wait um, the update said in a few days so I'll give it this week but uh, I'll be sure to go over what the update looks like and all that good stuff uh, when it does happen uh, this week but they haven't I don't at least unless I I don't really know um, other than like the auto throttle uh, functionality part of the update not sure not sure what else we'll get 
with the next uh, 737 PMDG update. But I will let you guys know when it drops, since we'll be flying the, the cargo variant this week. We shall see. Still patiently waiting on the uh, flight deck cockpit tablet. But it's actually not too bad without it, honestly. <clears throat> it's not too shabby, even without the uh, tablet. There's still so much like functionality with it. Let's. Uh, Mute. Figure one more time, one once or twice more. We can watch the uh, World Update 11 uh, preview video. So as we close out our World Update 11 week here in Canada. All the new Canada uh, updates. Yeah, and for the life of me, I can't. I have my building set on Ultra, but I loaded into this airport, and this building did not load like the yellow building. So, I'm still trying to figure out my my building stuff. Like I figured if you turn the buildings on ultra they will load in, but must be missing something. So these are all a bunch of the highlights from World Update 11 that just released uh, this past week. Or no, not this past week, the week before. So just kind of showing all the different updates, cities, buildings, airports, points of interest. Pretty sweet stuff. Spirit Catcher. Yeah, we did three flights this week in um, Canada. Kind of flying through some of the updates. But we didn't see everything, that's for sure. There's a ton of updates. Whoops. All kinds of cool stuff. Commonwealth Stadium, Edmonton. Rogers Park, or Palace Place. Yeah, of course, Microsoft has like everything on Ultra when they do their preview videos. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> All right, one more time for. World Update 11, Canada. Hmm. 
about 70 miles to our top of descent. So once this plays one more time, after this video, we will get our bird ready for the approach into Montreal, Canada. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, we've already gotten so many updates. So many more airports, airplanes set to release. Just getting started. Here in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. Or just. I don't even know if you need to call it 2020 anymore. It's just Microsoft Flight Simulator. All kinds of cool stuff. beans all kinds of cool beans bam 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 ba bam 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 dreamliner noise guy is Cowlin. Sounds good, brownies. No worries. Sounds good. All right, let us start our prep here into St. Hubert, Montreal. All right, let's see. Follow our handy dandy checklist. Let's go in at ref. We're gonna go flaps 40 landing, V ref 121. Let's see. I will tune 11110 for 24 right ILS. 11110. 11110. Both sides. 11110. Boom. And then our final course, final approach course, 242. Two, four, two, right? Yeah. So we set this both sides. 242. Boom, boom, boom. And let's set our minimums which are <clears throat> have graph where you at minimums refer to minimums so ILS so go 288 on Z minimums Let's get you dialed in, 288. 288, cool beans. And let's do our approach fix. We are going runway 24, right, right? I believe so. Uh, 24 right, yes. Uh, then let's go 10 mile approach ring. And five miles out. Cool. 
let's just make sure those are in the plan here. So you in a little bit. Yep, there's 10 miles, five miles of the runway. Cool. Sweet, let's go back to map. Zoom you out. And we can set our bottom altitude of the glide slope, which is 1240. I cannot hear him on the radio, it's so quiet. Boston Tower is on, but not Senta. All right, so our glide is 2100. So I guess we'll put in 1200, I guess. In the box. Yeah, we'll throw in 1200. Glide intercept. Cool. So, Mayor, is Mayor on here? Oh, yeah, it is. Are we supposed to be at 2100 feet at Mayor, too? Let's make sure we are at. MP. Yeah, let's just do at 2100 feet at Zuklu. That's how you pronounce it. Bum, bum, bum. I mean, this is 2,100 feet. Uh, let's see, what is our... Altimeters, two niner niner. Two nine 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 nine. Ones are three ten at eleven or three hundred at eleven. So from the east, temperature is eleven. Coop. All right. So we got 11 miles till TOD. We start our descent into Montreal, St. Hubert. Since Nightbot is taking the day off. Put our route in chat. Route and our flight info for today. Bum, bum, bum. Cool. Sweet, so we should be good. We'll set our altimeter here soon.
Yeah, we're spooling down. Sun's still kind of high. I did pull the uh, time back about an hour and a half. So it doesn't get dark on us. Looks like we're gonna kind of follow the river almost, or parallel to it. This river here. Looks like we're gonna start making a left here. Or no, we just did our left turn. Sweet. There goes the contrails. All right, guys, we are on our way into Montreal. So we're passing through 24,000 feet. Cool. Bum, 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 I always forget out the old jump seat view. I love this view. Kind of see the whole cockpit. Yes, indeedy. Let's see, where are we at? We are about 55 miles to the runway. Say on our arrival is in 
14 minutes. Sim Toolkit Pro say. It's estimating 8 minutes. I knew that was a little quick. I think the airplane's going to be more accurate than Sim Toolkit Pro. Doesn't look like much of any traffic in the area on the VATSIM network, so that is cool beans, pretty chill. Alright, let's sit back up here. Let's reset our camera. Let's hit standard off 2999 or niner. Our altimeter for the approach into St. Hubert. Speeding a little bit. Uh, let's load our replay software flight recorder. We'll run some replays when we get there. Uh, let's set our auto brakes to. Yeah, we'll do one. And we can set our speed, arm our speed brakes. Bum, 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 bum. We are descending fast. All right, we're at 10,000 feet, which, yeah, we're gonna level off and slow down to 250, so let's go. Lights all on, so start switches, both continuous set. And let's just throw in some speed brake to get us down to 250. 250 knots under 10,000 feet. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I don't know why we're slowing down. There are, sounds like we're accelerating. But we should be slowing to 250. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, let's set our runway heading, 242. Yeah, I got full flaps and uh, full speed brake in here. It's taking a while to slow her down. Clouds. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, we're at 250. Rearm the speed brakes. Alright, we're direct to Mare, which is our first. Approach fix. Zooms out too far. We'll just get our approach chart, approach plate up. Cool. And 
still looks like we're the only traffic even in the area. So, it should be pretty quiet on the network. Bum, bum, bum. All right, 25 miles from the runway. Let's go ahead and pause the jams for the arrival and where's our replay at there it is so Montreal like the city center kind of downtown I think it's gonna be off to our right <clears throat> so I think we still got a little bit here so we probably start seeing some of the buildings and stuff load in. Looks like the scenery is starting to kind of pop in and out. Zoom you all the way in. Yeah, looks like we got a little low layer clouds. All right, let's reset our camera here. Easy on the camera angles as Sim loves to crash for whatever reason. All right, 16 miles out from the runway. Should be about on runway heading here. Can't see it yet. straight in <laughs> all right let's go flaps one yeah let's go arm the approach approach is engaged Slowing down. Got to be at 2,100 feet for the next four miles. So we should be able to slow down pretty easily. I think I'm going to use the sun visor for the landing here. The sun's right off our nose. Still kind of cloudy out here, so can't see much. Bum, 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 bum. Ten miles out, let's go flaps five. Feet. 
Still looking good. Eight miles out, let's go gear down, flaps 15. Yeah, nobody's out here, so should be fine. to our final approach fix, 1,240 feet. Descending slowly. Can we even see our runway yet? Just barely. All right, let's go flaps 25. And let's hit the record button. Sending nicely. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna beat our time. I think it was two hours and 11 minutes in the air. That it uh, projected us. We're 12 minutes under two hours. Four mile final. Let's go flaps full. And landing checklist is complete. Three green. Gears down. Auto brakes set. Speed brakes set. Lights are on. We are good to go. On the glide, on the localizer. Set our VREF 125. Kind of hard to see the runway. Ah, there it is. I wonder if this is kind of in my. No, definitely not in the way. All right, replays recording. I can like barely see the runway. I'm just gonna let the autopilot take us down a little closer. So I can see the runway a little better. There we go, that's a little better. Uh, it's very gusty. Let's go, my bird. Bring the throttles back to match in one. Let's go, my throttles. Stay on the localizer here. Coming in a little hot. Crosswind. Minimums. Minimums. Continue. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Let's float it. And we're down. Versers are out. Let's go on the center line. It's manual brakes. 50 knots. Stow them. And can we get off here? Yes, this is Echo. Let's hit the clock. And we should be straight in. Right? Let's go flaps up, speed brakes up. You guys are all in the way. 
Landing lights, strobes can go off. Hopefully we don't clip this building. Might have to go in the grass a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the FBO here, the Lux FBO. Welcome to Montreal, guys. We're gonna be able to park in here. Not much room. We'll just nose it in, I guess. Where that uh, ground crew is. Let's go taxi light off. Try not to hit these birds. And not hit the FBO. Alright, let's go right here. Cool. And set the parking brake. Sweet. Got all the lights. Flaps are up. Speed brakes are up. Uh, let's go ahead and stop the recording and disconnect from that sim. Close out the pilot. Um, let's finish our flight. Negative 169 on the uh, landing. I'll take that. Let's go finish. Let's just throw the stream here. And okay. Let's see. Not a bad landing. I'll take it. Had that pretty wicked crosswind. Let's go close into Kid Pro. And. Got the controller for run some replays. We'll leave the bird running and then we'll come back after we run some replays and button her up and shut her down, all that good stuff. So let's reset you. Um, we can go. Where's the iTunes action? Yes. There we go. And let's hit replay, shall we? Go. Let's go put the flaps set to full for replay. Let's play some jams. Bum, bum, bum. Nice straight in, straight in approach. Montreal, Saint Hubert Airport. I think the river's off to our right side. Stutter. Stuttering, stuttering. Oh, it's cool, the power lines down there, right underneath us. Sweet. Cool. Yeah, we'll run some replays into Montreal. We'll head back to the ramp after the replays. Get the bird all shut down and unloaded. The passengers on their way. We will sign off for 
this week. Canada World Update 11 week. It was a fun one. If you guys want to check out some, uh, our other two streams from this week from our World Update 11 series, we, um, we had a flight on Tuesday and Thursday, uh, the two most recent uh, posts up on the channel. You guys want to check out those Canada routes. Nice and easy. Way off the center line. <laughs> Skirt. Bum 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 bum. Looks like he added some mints to the airport, but not around the whole thing. Hmm. Or maybe it's just. Sim update 10 uh, doesn't cooperate with it. That could be as well. Um, let's go. Let's do Brownie's favorite. We'll go. Actually, let's rewind it first. Let's go pause first. No! Ah! Could have guessed that was going to happen. All right. Well, graphics device has encountered a problem, and Microsoft Flight Simulator will exit. This may be due to graphics card overclocking, overheating, or due to a driver fault. Great. So my computer's broken. Um. All right. Well, so much for running the rest of the replays and buttoning up the bird. Um, so we're going to end on this crash to desktop. <laughs> so that will do it for today's uh, stream. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. Uh, sorry for the abrupt ending here. It is unfortunate. It happens. Uh, Brownies, the, the sim like... It's done this since the new update, Sim Update 10. It's crashed on me a couple times, giving me this um, crash error for whatever reason. Never gave it to me before. Um, but the Sim like froze and crashed. So it's just like it gets stuck on whatever screen it leaves. So if I hit OK, it's just going to shut the, the, the Sim completely off. So. It happens, um, but yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have to, and the stream has ended itself early, um, so thank you all for flying with us uh, today, this week, it's been a fun week, flying World Update 11 Canada edition, uh, we have three streams from this week, if you guys want to check them out, uh, they are the three most recent posts on the channel. Uh, so yeah, brownies, appreciate you. Yeah, it is a bummer. It happens. What are you going to do? It is what it is. We'll be back uh, this week, though. Uh, Tuesday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we'll be flying uh, this whole coming week, Amazon Prime Air Ops. So that was what we'll be flying. The, the stream schedule will go out tomorrow uh, for the week, uh, and you'll be able to see where we're flying and when. Uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's stream, want to share your support to the channel, uh, please hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. It is a huge help to the channel. I always appreciate each and every one of you guys and your support. Um, and yeah, I do live stream weekly and exclusively here on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Uh, so if you hit the notification bell, you will not miss a new upload or live stream you'll be notified uh, for everything that goes up on the channel um, and I've also listed some of my favorite playlists of our past streams on the channel here if you guys want to check them out uh, they're in the video description below uh, some of our past uh, flights that we've flown and other airplanes that we've flown in the sim uh, so if you guys want to check those out please do uh, so yeah again thank you all for watching 
super sorry for the uh, literally crash landing uh, as we tried to run some replays the sim uh, crashed which is this lovely error message on the screen here so as soon as I click OK it's just gonna turn completely off so unfortunately <laughs> we ended on a, a beautiful crash to desktop as the sim likes to do after big 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 updates so we're at the mercy of these shenanigan updates so I uh, really appreciate you guys for hanging out and flying with us today uh, we will be back for our next stream on Tuesday 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time hope to see you guys there uh, but until then hope everybody has an awesome rest of your weekend happy Sunday fun day uh, and yeah We'll catch you guys in the next one as we sign off of this crash landing here. Um, so, yeah, we'll see you guys. Have a great evening Sunday. See you on Tuesday. Later, guys. Peace.